Hey guys, this is Skylar. This time I wanted to show a bag setup that I'm going to be trying out. I've had the Alice pack and it was uh, pretty popular with some of you and you liked the way it worked out. Uh, but I wanted to show a different one that I had in mind because I'm trying to condense down to where instead of having one bag for this, one bag for that, multiple bags, and having to depend on a lot of points of failure, I'm changing the way I do things a little bit. Um, this is basically a complete kit. This is not just an overnight bag. It's everything I would need. Uh, has my tent here. This is the Katoma sleep system. Buck saw, axe, my bedroll. Uh, cooking system with lots of food in it. There's that, that's why it's so full. Clothes, and this is basically the this is the container that was in my Alice pack, and these are all the things that I carried inside, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Anyway, let me show you the bag system that I'm going to be going to, and then I'll go through some of this. Okay, guys, um, a lot of you may be familiar with this bag, and uh, I know it looks a little bit messy and sloppy I haven't done anything with all the uh, straps and all which I will tidy those up and get them all neat and clean and out of the way once everything is in the bag and on the bag like I want anyway this is the marine ILB and up here this is the assault bag that can be strapped to the front now you'll notice I have a couple pouches up here on the front this has been used I've been taking it to work for several days now as my EDC uh, so it has a few things like the pouch here on top that's used for work. So that's why I have it here showing. Basically it just has flashlight. A few things on it that I need for work. Uh, I also carry the uh, poncho with the digital camo. I keep it. It does rain a lot down here so I keep the poncho readily available so I can get it in and out of the building no problem. So anyway, this is gonna, this is going to stay in the car at all times. It will stay in the back of my Jeep, load it out which I'll get to what it'll be loaded with in a minute. And then I have my EDC, which will be containing different things. Uh, a lot of things uh, for wilderness type stuff. And some things just for what I need for work every day that could be dumped if I needed to. I won't go into the things that I'll carry for my job. But uh, just know that this will be used as an EDC for everything that I need, even for everyday normal use. Anyway. This is the bag that I'll be using. Let me uh, take all that stuff out, spread it out a little bit. It will seem to take up a lot more room now, but uh, you'll see it will all fit in this without any problem, especially since it used to fit into an Alice pack. Okay guys, well as you can see, it's all spread out now, so it looks like it take up a lot more room, but it really doesn't. Um, so I'll go through some of the things, as you'll see over here. I have my bed roll that I recently did a video on. This is my alpaca wool blanket and my Alps sleeping mat. This is by far the bulkiest thing that I have, but gives me uh, you know, a good night's sleep. Uh, you'll see here I have my axe. This is Wetterling's axe, Karst axe. My Bob's quick buck saw. And this is the Katoma sleep system. And you know, that's basically just a one-man tent. Works out pretty well. You'll also see back here my bio wipes, cordage. This is a fishing kit here. I also have this. Um, is my camp stove. My Emberlite. That's one of the things I hope to change soon. I'm hoping at Blade Show they will be there again this year, and I'll be able to get the new fire ant that they're talking about. It'll be a titanium version and much smaller and lighter. I also have a sewing kit. This is my fire kit and it also has a few other things in it um, that pertain to fire. It has my cook stove, which the fire ant will take uh, you know, and snap right in and fuel for it. But the Emberlite also burns wood, so I don't necessarily have to have fuel. That's just for a quick one if I need to. Uh, here's my knife. I, that also changes, you know, if, if those of you that have seen my videos know I change my knife quite often. But this is one of my favorites here. This was one that was done by Dan Eastland at uh, Dollwood Custom Knives. He did a great job and I really love that knife a lot. Um, navigation kit here that I did a video on not long ago. Then I also have uh, 
uh, Shemak. Here, this is, uh, even though it looks very bulky, it's actually very light. This is the Sawyer water filter system. So that's my water. This is basically just a, a bunch of miscellaneous things that I would need, personal things, personal medications. Uh, uh, I do go medical heavy because of my wife, and uh, but it has things, I also have sharpening tools, a number of different things in there. Now this is the rest of my medical kit. It's uh, not too big, but uh, a lot of you have seen that one before. I've done videos on it. I also have a space blanket. And this is a tarp that I got from Walmart. It was about seven or eight dollars. It's a five by seven. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I know a lot of people do. So I think that's going to be a pretty cool thing to have. Uh, as I said, plenty of food. Several days worth of food in here means to clean the pot. You know, a little rag and things like that. Everything I need has got seasonings and other things in there. Uh, and then this is the Nalgene water bottle with the uh, Snow Peak 750. Gloves, which everybody needs to have. And of course, change of clothes and my Equip to Endure beanie. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it, what I'll have in my bag. And uh, I'll pack it up and show you what it looks like. And as you saw on the smaller assault bag that'll be on there, it has a few other things, you know, like a, a baseball hat and, snow, and sunglasses, things like that. But this is pretty much what'll be on me. And uh, maybe some sort of firearm of some sort, which usually is on my side. Anyway, guys, let me get to that. I'll show you what it looks like packed up. Okay, guys, well, it's all packed up. A um, couple things, just like my other video when I did the Alice pack, um, I'm going to set up a way to put my bedroll on there. And uh, as you can see, as far as my Alice pack was concerned, I used to have this in there for structure and things like that. Well, it won't fit, and if I can find something that will, I'll probably try and give this structure again to get me some sort of wash basin. But for now, that won't be used. Uh, the axe and saw will still be attached to the side, but I have not set up anything to do that yet, so I'll, I'll be setting some way of carrying my axe and saw on the outside edges. Of course, the bed roll will go either in, on top or bottom. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. And everything you saw is packed up in here now. It's not too heavy. I don't think it's too bad at all. And then of course, over here is my EDC, which I always have my hat, poncho, tools such as you know it has a Leatherman tool and uh, I work IT so I need uh, things to bind up cords and things like that and it's just a few things that I need and then I'll usually have uh, a couple things that are related to work inside here and some things that would be useful that would um, normally be in this bag but I'll keep in here and this will obviously attach to the front of the bigger bag if I need to well that's pretty much it guys this is the ILBE marine bag I hope you like this video. If you have any suggestions uh, as I do this, I have, you know, I have another video when it's complete and how I finish setting it up. Um, that'll probably be a few weeks as I test some things out. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with another video real soon.